In this video, I'm going to give you a full overview of the schema markup setup in Rank Math SEO. Regardless whether you have the free version or the paid version, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough. I have spent the last few hours figuring this stuff out, so I'm really happy to share some of my findings with you. So by the end of this video, you will have a full understanding of how to implement schema markup on your website using Rank Math SEO. Let's start with what is schema markup? Schema markup is a language that you can use on your website to communicate with the search engines and increasingly with AI bots that are going to be scanning your website. And if you want to show up in things like OpenAI's web search or perplexity ai or the ai overviews on google it's really great to have schema markup implemented on your website plus schema markup allows you to show up with these extra elements in the search results for example this is an example without schema markup and this is an example with schema markup so you have these reviews the image plus uh, you can have many other elements that are going to be extremely valuable if you want to increase the click-through rate for your content in the search engines and as a result increase your traffic okay let's continue in rank math seo one of the most popular seo plugins out there that I'm, I'm using on all of my website, websites because I think it's the best, you can really easily configure schema markup for these types of rich snippets. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a moment on a live website, but let me just show you one thing at the beginning. All right, so you have the schema generator generator here and you can use it uh, to just pick some of these basic schema types but then and that works with the free version but if you want to really take it to the next level then you have this schema generator uh, that allows you to create 700 plus schema types but this is on the paid version of the plugin, which is around $70 per year. So if you are running a larger website and you really need to implement this properly, then perhaps this is going to be a good investment. All right, next. Uh, this is like this quick guide. Uh, I can show you uh, what exactly is schema markup and rich snippets. So at the core, it's this type of code that the uh, crawlers from websites can use to interpret information on your website. So it will basically help search engines understand what your content is about and potentially reflect this information in search engine results uh, pages. So for example, if you have like a schema uh, markup, then mm, it will be uh, something like this, right? You can have all of these extra elements. Uh, and uh, as a curiosity uh, on this website, uh, Schema Mantra, I have found a list of all schema markup types. So there are so many of them that it's pretty crazy. Uh, as you can see just here we, on A, we already have so many different types. Let's just go to C. So it really depends on the content that you have on your website. Okay, so it's really great to actually ask artificial intelligence like ChatGPT or whatever uh, to analyze the content on your website, the one that you have available already, and ask what types of schema markup could we implement on my website based on the content I already have. But you can also uh, go to the next level and add these extra elements on your website. So then you can use schema markup to 
get uh, more content into your schema so then it will be reflected in the search engines. All right, so if you just click through this thing, and in this uh, example, here in this video, we will be setting up the course schema. You have uh, the full description of what this uh, schema does. So for example, for the course, it's a description of an educational course, which may be offered as uh, distinct instances, blah, 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 whatever. Course schema generator, right? You can just generate your schema here, but then, for each of these types of schema, you have all of these elements that you can use in your schema for a particular page or a full website. All right, so this is like the basic overview of what it's all about and how to understand schema. Now let's move to the next part, which is setting this thing up in Rank Math SEO. All right, so in Rank Math SEO, you have these, um, First, let's say dashboard, right? So just to get started with this whole thing, you go to dashboard and then you have this schema structured data tab. So then you just switch it on. That's the first part. Then the other thing is that when you go to titles and meta and you have these different post types on your website, you can assign a specific type of schema to specific types of posts. For example, when we are talking about blog posts, you will just use the built-in article schema and it will automatically pull all of the necessary information from this article and generate that schema for you. So you don't really have to worry about it. But uh, there are many other situations where uh, this is not the case and you need to build your schema. For example, if you had something uh, else uh, where you want to create a custom schema, then you would just select the type, schema type none, because you don't want different schemas to be competing with each other. You just want the one that uh, you will create. Uh, and uh, finally, in Rank Math SEO, here you have schema templates. So you can create your own template that then you can use to uh, quickly implement schema on your website. So for example, here we have a course schema. Uh, so just to create it, you just add new schema, but I'm going to show you an example so you can see what it's all about. So let's say that we have a course and you have this schema builder here in which you can build your custom schema for your particular content type. And probably a good idea would be to look at all of these types of schemas that are available. And then you can build out your schema with the use of artificial intelligence, especially if you are not doing it um, consistently or regularly, it's going to be much easier because you have these properties and then you have property groups. So then all of this thing, as you can see, you have this whole structure here. It needs to be properly uh, implemented. Otherwise, this whole code is going to fall apart. And in Google Search Console, where you have your website set up, you will see that you have these schema errors. Also in Ahrefs or any type of other SEO tool, you will have these regular um, SEO audits. And if there's any problem with your schema, this is going to get flagged. But we want to avoid this in the first place. So that's why you need to set this up properly. Uh, and uh, you can use ChatGPT or Cloud or whatever to help you out with this. So you have all of the information necessary. And then you have the code validation. And this you can also just copy and then use the schema validator to see if all of this is working properly. And if the 
structure is uh, going to be working well. Okay, next, uh, display conditions. Um, you can set up, for example, if you have a particular website uh, or page type where you want the same type of schema implemented across the whole thing, you can add a new condition. So for example, you can include a specific type of schema on the entire site um, or singular. So then you can choose on which type of posts this should be applied, but this will apply it across the board. So usually we don't really want this thing. We want to um, usually do it probably granularly in a way where you have this template ready for your page, but then uh, you adjust it based on the page. For example, when it comes to the course schema here, we will have a different description for each type of uh, content. So then we just apply the basic foundation for the schema on our, let's say, course pages, uh, but uh, we have to fill out the necessary information uh, to make sure that um, the schema is working properly for that particular website. I hope that this uh, is clear. Uh, so let's just take a look at an example. We have a course page uh, right here. Uh, and then uh, to actually implement the schema for a particular page in um, Rank Math SEO, you go to the, uh, we are here in Elementor, but uh, if you are using a classic editor or Gutenberg, you will just find the SEO tab. So we just go to the SEO tab. Then over here, you have these tabs. So you choose this one, which is the schema um, tab. And then you have this schema generator. And when you click on it, you will see that you have uh, the schema catalog here. And you have all of these different types of schemas. These are probably uh, the ones also available in the free version. So you can just apply them uh, here, but you don't have a lot of customization available. Uh, but for most websites, probably, uh, especially if you have a smaller website, this is going to be um, completely fine. And then uh, you have these templates. So that's exactly the template that we have uh, created uh, here in the um, previous step, okay? Uh, so then you can just uh, apply uh, this uh, particular um, template, or you can also import uh, or just create another kind of custom schema that will also be uh, available uh, here in this schema template uh, menu. All right, and let's say that you already choose the right type of schema, uh, and then you can just edit it. So you can just um, go to edit, and then you fill out all of this uh, important information. And then you just uh, save the website, and this schema type should be already uh, available. So now, how to check if your schema setup is um, correct? Probably the best way would be to just go into the source code of that particular page. So you would just uh, right click and go with view page source, and then you just search for schema. Okay, so this is extremely useful. Here you have all of this uh, script and all of this uh, schema uh, setup, but it's also useful because um, you can see if there are any other types of schemas that are potentially competing with the schema that you have just set up here in Rank Math SEO. For example, if you are using the Astra theme or if you are using some other plugins on your website, they can apply 
some different types of schemas uh, that will compete with this main schema. So then you will probably need to filter out these other schemas via some kind of settings in these plugins uh, or by applying a specific code in your functions.php to make sure that you only have this schema that you want. And all of these schemas will have this, uh, just the, <laughs> the word schema somewhere. So they will be really easy to identify. Okay, but then let's say, how do we know that this is working properly? So you would just take this script And you have two main options, which is just uh, validator.schema.org, or you have the rich results test on Google. And you can check the validity of your schema by just pasting, pasting the URL of your website, or just by pasting the code snippet from your website, the one that is responsible for schema, the one that we just copied a moment ago. So I just copied it here, and then you go with run test, and you can see that everything is working fine. We just have um, just some minor, um, let's say issue here <laughs> that can be promptly resolved. And then you can do the same here uh, with Google Rich Test Results. So then it's just going to check out this code. And you can see that everything here is valid. If there are any issues, uh, they, they will be flagged here with a red color. So then you can just uh, go back and fix the architecture of your schema. And at the same time, you can use um, a different um, option. Let's say that instead of this article, we want to uh, check something else on our website, like a blog post. So then you can just um, use the fetch URL function and you will just run the test Let's do the same thing here with the URL on the rich results page. And here you will have the full setup of that schema. And the funny thing here is that we have implemented just this regular article schema from Rank Math SEO for these uh, blog posts. Okay, and here again, you can see Everything is valid. It's all good. All right, so uh, you can just think about what type of schemas you want to add for your particular website. Maybe you can use uh, this website here, Schema Mantra, as an inspiration. For example, if you have a game, then you will set up the game schema. If you have a gene, then you will set up the gene schema. If you have a ho hotel, then there is a whole freaking thing uh, that you can apply just for your particular hotel. And this is going to improve your search engines, uh, engine results a lot. Uh, and then the last thing that you would do is that you would just go to a Google Search Console and your favorite SEO tool like Ahrefs and run these audits. And if there is anything wrong with your schema, then it will get flagged. So then you can go back and you can fix it. So that's how you set up a schema on Rank Math SEO. I hope this video was extremely helpful for you. If you like it, please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Ciao!